The game I'm presently working on is a massive multiplayer online role-playing game that is being developed under the working title Salem. The game is a free-form building MMO set in a persistent world, which is mutable and can be affected in many different ways by the players. The terrain is deformable, there will be plenty of woodlands that players can cut down, and there will be plenty of buildings that players can erect in this open and free world of, this, of theirs. And uh, the, this is the, the central premise of the game, that the world is affectable and persistent and the players can interact with it over, over time, basically. Other important features of the game include permanent death, meaning that when your character in the game, because you will, it's a role-playing game, you'll, be, you'll have a character, um, and when he dies, he stays dead. And uh, this is unlike many other MMOs where you reincarnate in one form or another, but in this game, if you die, you'll stay dead. Um, the game is heavily inspired by the Anglo-American kind of gothic tradition, and if we are to name specific inspirations, then obviously a name like H.P. Lovecraft cannot go without mention. And uh, other names in the same kind of vein would be probably Edgar Allan Poe and Herman Melville, also more modern, you know, Tim Burton, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, that kind of mood and setting to it, with, which is kind of a cute, gothic kind of feel to it. Players will be taking the role, since the game is obviously set in colonial New England, uh, it's the new world, players will be taking the role of uh, intrepid colonists, basically. Uh, they'll, the character character creation room where you start the game to create your first character will be like a CD dock somewhere in the old world, you know, London. And uh, once you've created your character, you know, set your hairdo and whatever else you need to set, you will basically be put on the ship and shipped off to Boston. And uh, once, and when arriving in the new world, you will basically be uh, left to yourself. After that, the game is basically gonna leave you and uh, you're a colonist, there's a frontier, go explore. There are plenty of things in the, the game mechanics themselves that are relatively conducive to a, an extremely dark game. I mean, players in this world are able to attack each other more or less unprovoked, and they'll be able to kill each other and, you know, maim each other and raise the buildings that other players have built with their, you know, heart and their sweat and hard labor. Um, I believe that the game has all the potentialities in the world to kind of balance itself because I, I believe the players will be the first and foremost uh, fount of justice in the game and I think that's another beautiful aspect about it because there's nothing as, as awesome as you know killing the guy who caused a lot of trouble on your farm you know that's that's going to be one of the greatest things about the game I think it's a sense of well-earned justice finally you know. Um, as we're designing the game right now, witchcraft is intended to be basically one of two primary paths which you can take when you are studying magic. So there's definitely going to be both magic and witches in the game, definitely. I think that the feature, although it's not a feature per se, but perhaps more a quality of the game uh, that players will appreciate the most is Probably the freedom of the game, the fact that nothing in the game is kind of forced upon you, there, there's no kind of grindy content that you have to go through before you can do this or that. We are basically going to leave the uh, players free to their own devices and leave them free to do whatever you know, kind of falls natural to them. They can do whatever they want.